the slot select screen is where players go to select a save slot to either load a game from or create a new game in. Up at the top of the screen, we have a screen title made from a large sprite font. You can double click it to see or replace the font with one of your own. We'll link to a tutorial that shows how to customize sprite fonts in Construct in this video's description. As you can see, its default text is set to Start New Game. Don't bother changing it in the object's properties, because there are events that change it at start of frame based on whether the player will be loading or creating a save slot. Go to the Layout's Events and filter for the word Font. Find this event and depending on if the global value Save or Load is Load or Save, you can alter these actions to make the screen title say anything you'd like. If you go back to the Layout Editor and click the Layers tab, you can see there is a BG layer. You can add any number of background or sprite objects to decorate the screen however you'd like. As with any layout in this engine, you can change the Song for Layout value in the Music to Play sprite to the name of any music you've imported into the engine. There are four save slots the player can choose from. They each have a tiled background object behind them to frame them off from one another visually. You can double click to edit or replace the image that is tiled in the rectangle or you can delete them and replace them with any custom sprite or other visual elements you'd like. Each slot has a slot thumb sprite which is meant to visually represent the data in the particular save slot in some way. If you double click on them you can edit or replace the art. You can see that it uses a single animation where the first frame represents an empty slot. Each successive frame is another image that you can use to represent the position or progress in that particular save slot. If we go find the exit level sprite at the end of any game level layout, you'll see it has a variable called land. This value is how you set what image of the save slot sprite should be used to display that save slot once this level is the furthest level in the game that the player has finished in the save slot. If you have divided the game levels in your game into worlds or lands, you could use a different image for each of them. Or you could go with images representing the most recently defeated boss. It's up to you to decide how to visually represent the progress. There are three sprite fonts being used for each save slot. The top one simply designates which slot number the slot is. You can make this say whatever you want or remove it completely if you'd like. The second sprite font is used for the name of the save slot, so it should be left alone, other than changing the font if you wish. Be sure to keep the font small enough to be able to fit the name of the save. The final sprite font reports the percent of the game that has been completed so far in that particular save slot. If we filter for percent in the event sheet, we can see and edit what text is displayed. Very important. This formula retrieves the number of the furthest defeated level in the game and divides it by what is by default set to 4.0. This initial setting of 4.0 is completely arbitrary and should be set to whatever the total number of level layouts you end up with in your game. If the very last level in your game is a boss fight in a layout named 30, the 30th level, then you should replace the 4.0 in this formula with 30.0. Otherwise, the percentile report in the save slot screen will be completely wrong. All other buttons, text box frames, and text can be edited as you see fit, but be careful, they may be used elsewhere in the game, so if you change the home, cancel, or play buttons, they might look this new way on other screens as well, so keep that in mind. Thanks for watching.